Hello, good evening. Welcome everybody to The Ordinary Doctor. I'm The Ordinary Doctor, Dr. Manan Mehta. And today we have a very special guest with us, the most loved, the most respected, the extraordinary Ayurvedic consultant, Dr. Vinod Mehta. Welcome, sir. Welcome to our platform. Thank you very much, Dr. Manan. Thank you very much for such good initiative by the metabolics of the current topics. And I should say that none of the doctor is an ordinary doctor. All the doctors are very special ones because they are the, say, backbone of each and every family and each and every person. Well, so today we have called you for a very special purpose. As you mentioned, families. Now we are not getting individual people falling ill. Families are falling ill. So which is why we want you here today. Just a quick discussion. Are you facing a lot of fevers in your practice right now? Yes, yeah, certainly, yes. Not even me, but I think most of the doctors are facing the fever patients nowadays. Each and every, say, every alternate patient comes with a complaint of fever. Okay, so what are the cases? What are the common differential diagnoses which you are seeing in the fevers? So, very common nowadays is the common flu, swine flu, COVID as usual, dengue, malaria, and typhoid. These are the cases we are looking after. And the, along with them, the guest study this is also very common nowadays. Okay, so from Ayurvedic point of view, can you take us to the symptomatic care? Say, for example, I have fever. So what is the symptomatic care in Ayurvedic for fever? What, what can we do? The very simple, uh, so very most common one is uh, Ayurvedic drug is Mahasudarshan Ganavati and Mahasudarshan Churna. These two medicines are very excellent remedy for any type of fever you can give them. Uh, say, without any coming to any conclusion on the day one, it uh, definitely helps to control the fever. And if you so, have fever... Can we use this with paracetamol also? Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes, you should. Yes, you can. Okay, so both can be taken in uh, together also. There is no yeah, harm. definitely. Yes, there is no harm at all. Okay, so then we come to agar block nose hai, naak band hai aur bukhar hai, then what do we do? Block nose is very common. You should take steam. You should put uh, normal saline drops and uh, any uh, uh, very good remedy to open to block nose is Tribhuvan Kirti Ras. It's uh, more, uh, easily available at all the chemists. And you can take these tablets morning, evening, night. It should help to open the blocked nose and to okay. control the running nose also. Okay. So, yes. So, now, yeah, the, the second question is that if I come with a lot of running nose, a continuously running nose, then what do I do? Is there something special that I should do? For running nose, very common remedy in your home is suit, pipramul and kali mirch. Everybody has it at their home. Uh, you can take suit, pipramul and kali mirch for running nose at least uh, two, three doses a day. It should help. Okay. And uh, what about cough? Suppose I have a dry cough. If it's dry, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry. So what do you think we can take? Dry cough, ke liye, Sitopradi Churna is very good. You can uh, give Sitopradi Churna. Even you can give it to the kids also. It's a harmless remedy. Say one teaspoon or half teaspoon, three times a day. Gili khasi hai. Agar kaf bahar aarai to what can we give for that? Kaf na ka kaf aarai to mosti to thoda kaf aarai to usse nikal ne dena chahiye. Because Ayurved yeh sa kehta hai ki agar dosh sharir se nikal ne to usne nikal ne dena chahiye. But excess of kaf is also harmful. So for excess of kaf, the sputum comes out. Uh, Lakshmi will answer us. It's also very effective. Okay. And in your opinion now, we've seen so many cases. They respond to conservative care. Most of the flus respond to conservative care. But agar prove ho gaya ki swine flu hai to... Is there any role of antibiotics where you recommend in the management of cold? Cold may antibiotic agar establish koi infection agar uske andar establish ho jata hai or recommend hai, then only antibiotics. Otherwise, flu may so you should do conservative treatment along with whatever anti allergics you are taking. Everybody gets dengue and malaria cases and uspe platelet gatta hai. So, what about this platelet? Tell us the truth. What actually works in this uh, in, in, the, in the reducing platelet count? In the reducing platelet count, especially in the patients of dengue, there is a common things are going on that is papaya and uh, dragon fruit. But actual papaya and dragon fruit, it fruit itself won't be helpful to increase the platelet count. Uh, dragon fruit, yes, but for papaya, you should have papaya leaves. The extract of papaya leaves is very helpful to increase the platelet count. The patient of dengue and malaria comes with hepatitis. No, 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 no. That you can't give because already papaya ka juice bahut hi kadwa hota hai aur usko lete se patient ko vomiting, nausea, aisa thoda feeling hoti hai. So when there is a cases of hepatitis and uh, if the liver function is not very perfect, then even papaya leaves won't be a little bit uh, helpful. Instead, you can give the extract. Uh, there are tablets available. We also make the tablet from the papaya extracts. 
so that you can take so a small dose you can pop in the tablet and it can help definitely in yes, typhoid sir. any role of uh, ayurveda in typhoid sir uh, well not exactly directly in typhoid we have any role in typhoid you should we should recommend that antibiotics under a good specialist doctor and a qualified doctors but along with antibiotics you can give motipisti because in typhoid internal linings of intestine is affected so to heal them and to just prevent further infection and perforation mukta pisti is very helpful okay now lastly gastroenteritis aapne bola bhi now loose motions keep happening all year round what is so different about loose motions this time around uh, this uh, uh, normally loose motion can happen with some food with some infection with the side effect of any medicine but when the diarrhea with fever then definitely we should think of all these uh, common ailments going on nowadays and you have to be very cautious about treating the patient aap hame koi basic patch point 6 point 10 point aisa bata dijiye which all of us can follow so that we can boost our health first of all boil water in any type of infection either it is viral or some bacterial or the water borne disease boiling water is definitely helpful hand sanitization definitely yes for the nasal saline and steam is there for the throat infection gargle and uh, say hot water fermentation uh, hot water drinking is also helpful and especially you should take care of your nails nail hygiene is very common people are very much uh, say unaware maybe aware but they don't take care of so nail hygiene should, should be the most taken care of you should cut them regularly you should clean them regularly you should wash your hands regularly and bath the many people avoid bath but in this season either you got wet or you are sweating then at least twice a day you should bath that is very helpful is there any role of ginger garlic turmeric etc in prevention of monsoon related illnesses yeah yeah there are so many products available in your kitchen go to your kitchen open your dabba of masala then dhania is there jeera is there salt is there pipri mool is there haldi long dalchini well i will send you a short clip of one of my video which i have given for the home based remedy for this common cough cold fever everything that is also very useful so in your kitchen also you will find many things which is helpful in this season we will add a link uh, for this home kitchen remedies dr vinod mehta ne ek pura acha badhiya video banaya home remedies ka we'll add uh, so we'll end today's session uh, with the conclusions that uh, first of all it's important to realize that there is a differential diagnosis no matter what is happening uh, dr vidyapath has advised us that hydration and control of temperature symptomatic care we start with and then if the diagnosis is established change the treatment if necessary and finally the beautiful points which he mentioned in terms of hygiene of uh, water and ourselves will help us counter these problems thank you so much Uh, dr vinod mehta for uh, joining us today and uh, wish you all the best any parting message for our viewers control your temperature hydrate yourself and maintain your hygiene maintain your hygiene main cleanliness in and around your home in your compound in your building that is also the must aap aapka ghar saaf rakhte ho if your compound is very filthy definitely there are chances you are going to fall sick so wish you all the best everyone take care stay safe thank you very much for calling me thank you